I want to talk about something called the Antiquities Act. <clears throat> it passed in 1906. President Theodore Roosevelt was the president at the time, and Congress wanted to give him authority to designate special lands and cultural resources as national monuments, and he did that. Since then, six, 16 presidents, eight Democrats, and eight Republicans have used this 1906 act to protect America's treasures. For example, way back in 1922, President Harding used the Antiquities Act to protect a, this beautiful facility that is now a facility in Nevada called K Lehman Caves. I've been down in them. They're, they're certainly uh, not the deepest or the biggest in the world, but they are unique and good, and we've enjoyed them in Nevada. And that was the basis for the 1986 legislation that I initiated to create a national park in Nevada. We have a national park, only one in Nevada, but it is a result of the 1922 action of President Harding, and that's why we have Great Basin National Park. It is a wonderful facility. It has a glacier, it has the oldest living things in the world, bristlecone pines, it's a great park. And people from all over the world have visited this wonderful facility. Um, so Nevada's lone national park exists today because President Harding used the Antiquities Act to first designate the Lehman Caves. Some members of Congress, frankly it's a minority, believe we should repeal and gut this law. They advocate weakening of presidential authority that in the past has protected Grand Canyon and even the Statue of Liberty. Who in this body thinks America suffered because the presence in the past have protected the petrified forest in Arizona, craters of the moon in Idaho, Capitol Reef, Bryce Canyon, arches in Utah, and I've been to all of them, and even though Utah is an extremely conservative state, I've not heard one single member of Congress or a governmental authority from Utah saying that was a huge mistake. They draw millions of visitors to the state of Utah with their beautiful lands they have there. What about the Muir Woods in California? Just stunningly important. And it came about as a result of a president designating them under the Antiquities Act. Sixteen presidents, eight of each party, have used this act to protect America's treasures. I'm proud of what President Obama has been able to accomplish through the work he's done in the Antiquities Act. Um, he's moved where Congress has failed to act. Cesar Chavez and the Chicano labor movement was uh, honored by creating the Cesar Chavez National Monument in California. Fort Monroe in Virginia, recognition of the storied history and defense of our nation, the struggle for freedom of African Americans. It's, it's a beautiful facility. We have in Honolulu, the Honolulu Louis National Monument to remember the terrible internment of Japanese Americans during World War II. Last month, President Obama protected by proclamation the Pullman National Monument, which celebrates the history of the African American labor movement in America. As a Westerner, I appreciate what he's done to protect America's beautiful landscapes. Rio Grande del Norte in, in uh, New Mexico. Uh, Desert Peaks National Monument, in, uh, also in New Mexico. Browns Canyon National Monument in Colorado. Western landscapes in California, Washington, Hawaii. Just something that is so important to be done. So I'm disappointed that I hear on the budget bill uh, they're gonna, there's going to be an effort made to uh, gut the Antiquities Act. I hope not. I'll absolutely do everything I can to protect this act. It's been in existence since 1906 and used by 16 presidents.